I have here the Carandash Swiss Color Watercolor Pencils. Uh, this is a 40 set and I want to try them out and see if they are good or bad and also compare them to the to other watercolor pencils and also I did try the Carandar Supercolor. I was a little bit disappointed by those ones, but yeah, let's see how their cheaper version is going to work. Also, let's take a look inside. Oh, they did move a lot. Okay, so, ooh, I mean, they look nice. Every time I look at the Carandash colored pencils, watercolor pencils, whatever, they look so nice and they are so shiny and they look really, really nice. So let's just take one out. What information do we have written on them? So we have the name, it's a Swiss color, um, Caran uh, They are watercolor pencils. You have here a brush and that's it actually you do not get any information about the color name or color number that is a shame because i would have preferred at least something at least a color number would also be nice uh, there is some kind of number engraved here but do not know what it means uh, i'm not sure if these numbers here have any meaning they are really hard to read. I do not know if these numbers make any sense. But yeah, I'm going to swatch these and we will see how they are.
here the Swiss color from Carandash and this is the the swatch and the swatch looks um, it looks okay um, I just want to compare them to Stabilo because I think from how they look like they are really similar to Stabilo aqua color if we take a look here um, yeah the colors seem to be dissolving in the same uh, manner yeah they are really similar maybe these ones are a tiny bit no now I don't know if they are more, more pigmented actually they look the same they really look really similar almost the same and but there are other watercolor pencils which I tried and and for which I thought that are going to be much much better than what they were and those are the Carandash Supra color so this is this is Carandash Swiss color so the first thing that is really obvious is the difference in the intensity the supra color are really more pigmented than the swiss color i think you can clearly see that the thing that is not a lot different is how they dissolve like i would for some colors even say that the swiss color works better than the supra color uh, when I look at these star these colors from Supra Color, it's like these pencil lines. I really was not able to get rid of them. Another thing, the black from the Swiss Color is like horrible. Uh, is this even a black? It looks like really just gray. But if we look also at the Supra Color black, it's like hmm. and this one is also not black. It is better. Then this one but this is also not really a black color so yeah um, what what else I did try I did try the Swiss color also on on my swatch here uh, I'm just gonna write here Swiss color so it's this one here and one thing that I did not like is that the color does not really correspond to the barrel, color on the barrel. You can see here this really looks like a nice red color and this here is not really red so it goes more in the pink uh, direction that is I really wanted to use red but I just took this one from the tin and because they do not have any numbers or uh, color names it is a little bit difficult so I thought it is red but as you can see it's not really red but when you look here and here there is really not a lot of difference in how they dissolve let's just see if uh, I can reactivate them well not a lot is happening actually i do not think anything is happening here and this side where we have a little bit more of pigment yeah just a tiny bit so i'm able just to move a little bit of the pigment that remained on this side but otherwise they are not really reactivating Yeah, I can show you uh, from the close. So this is the super color and this is the, the Swiss color. And underneath here I have the Stabilo. So as I said, mm, not a lot of difference on how they dissolve. 
but I think the Stabilo did reactivate a little bit better. Again, not completely, but a little bit better. And two more colors, which I always find so unnecessary to put in the, in the watercolor pencils tin, because if that color is not water soluble or it's not uh, metallic after you apply water, then why put it there? But this is the silver and this is the gold. And as you can see, they dissolve, but not so good. And there is nothing silvery or gold about them. So yeah, uh, I would because these are like a little bit cheaper than the Supra color, but I would choose Stabilo over these ones if you can find them because Stabilo really it's the cheapest of the cheapest, at least here. Um, the Swiss color is more expensive, so but I'm not so I'm okay with the with how they dissolve but they are not pigmented a lot so because of that and they do not have any color information like nothing on them so i would uh, go with the stabilo in that place and the one that i always show you this is the faber castell gold faber so not the Albrecht Durer, so this is the cheaper version, still expensive but cheaper, but you can really see how more vibrant these are. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!